Hi guys, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. What we're doing today is using some weldcrete to um, put a bonding agent on this chimney. Now the, the homeowner asked me, he said, can you check out the, the roof, tell me what they did up there because he doesn't live at this residence and he's quite far away. Uh, three weeks ago when I come I said, well they did one flashing and they uh, put the groove in here, did a nice job too, but they didn't finish it. I, I said, I'll finish it if you like. And he said, no, I'll just call them and have them come back. So what they did is they came back and they put this flash in here and this one. And they notched a groove into the grout. And they shoved this L flashing into the groove. Back here I can see they used a polyurethane caulking, more than likely a Sikaplex. And over here I can I see they used um, like a Henry's. So I'm not certain about the Henry's. See, we, we're not supposed to technically stucco over metal or wood. Now if you look at that chimney there, now they took the the stucco all the way down. I'm not certain what they got there or why, but uh, generally you should have some kind of flashing like this and it should go in the grout and whatever you use to seal it, that's your business. But anyway, for the sake of uh, just showing you one side here, this, this is mighty simple. I've got some hot mud and when I say hot mud, it's pretty sticky stuff. It's mixed, very rich. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, feather this in. I'm just putting a little bit of mud here. They're going to paint this and of course whatever paint they decide on is going to cover all of this black too. Um, that uh, polyurethane caulking, those come in many many colors so uh, if you're going to paint it anyway it really doesn't matter what color you choose. Sometimes I see folks they'll, they'll do this uh, where they shove their membrane, flashing membrane in the brick and they'll just use a grout. I myself have used caulking a few times to do that. Anyhow, here's what we're doing. Okay, now I've plastered that and I've used a fast set plaster obviously because uh, I don't want to have to come back up here. It's not worth it for two coats to come here twice. So now I've got a sponge float here and see this finish here. This is a, a, heavy, a heavy finish and you get that by bringing the sand or the aggregate out of here. I could only bring that out with a wet sponge float. So I'll take the sponge and I'll go upward right here. Now I've got a garden hose up here because it was it was pretty wet when we got up here and I figured I'll drop something and I want to be able to clean up anyhow. So uh, the fact that I'm going to drop a little bit or that this uh, finish here is created with a lot of water and when you use a lot of water on on something like this to get this heavy texture what it'll do is it'll run down it'll hit this and then kind of run so that's why I got the hose fortunately for me uh, none of it's run down but anyway that's how simple this this fix can be I show you folks because a lot of times guys say gee I've had three requests saying can you show me how to do a chimney so it's uh, mighty simple guys but you got to know your cements. Fortunately, Jason mixed all the cement for me. You can't see what he did. But if I had soupy mud, I could be here for an hour instead of just the minute that I've been here doing this. So uh, mixing is half the battle. Anyway, guys, there it is. That's as simple as that. I'm going to take the water hose, clean up this, and we're out of here. My name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. As usual, folks, I thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.